At last, work is over. Time to browse some YouTube. Oh, there's a new lockpicking lawyer. Fantastic, I like his stuff. Tom Scott has climbed a wind turbine. Seems interesting. And, oh, awesome, the Act Man has put out a new video about Valve. Lots of good stuff to watch, but, uh... Why am I getting adverts for this game? Isekai Demon Waifu. What the hell? How is this an acceptable YouTube advert? Is everyone getting this? Yeah, it seems so. Wonder if it's on my phone, too. Oh, yep. Top of the page. And I can reset the app, and yep. Still top of the page. Oh god, people are PMing me on Discord asking me to talk about it. Someone even emailed me. Oh, I don't normally do mobile games, because bashing a mobile game for being bad is like fighting a child. Even if you win, you're still a loser. But I mean, how bad can it possibly be? It can be bad. It can be so, so bad. Isekai Demon... Isekai Demon Y... What, why? Isekai Demon Y. Isekai Demon Waifu is so bad, it's almost a parody of the mobile idol game genre. If you paid me to make the worst satire of the worst mobile gaming genre I possibly could, if you gave me a year to design a parody game, I would not be able to make something as bad as sexist as derogatory, as devoid of gameplay, as Isekai Demon Waifu. If playing Avatarica put me on a list, then I may as well just walk into a police station and say, hey, I played Isekai Demon Waifu, and they'd just nod at me understandingly and just lead me to an open cell. No questions need be asked. But the whole point of this series was that I play the games so you don't have to. And everyone is getting this advert. You don't have to have searched for Isekai, or Demon, or even Waifu. I did because I was making the Legend of Gacha Breath of the Waifu video when I was taking the mick out of uh, Genshin Impact, but everyone is getting this advert. So I've taken one for the team here, guys. Isekai Demon Waifu. Here we go. Isekai Demon Waifu is a brand new mobile game designed by people who shouldn't be allowed to design anything ever again and is being heavily advertised on Reddit, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and YouTube connected to the MMO and RPG hashtags, meaning if you watch this channel you're a target and I'm eternally sorry for that. I downloaded the game on my Android PC emulator and my life has been worse ever since. To give you an example of what we're about to play, let's just watch the official intro movie, the one on their Google Play page and their YouTube page. Hey, isn't that your cuck boyfriend? Not anymore, loser. What? <laughs> it's not over yet. I need you to come with me. Oh, Master. Welcome back. Welcome to the other world. It might be a bit different from what you're used to. But did I mention all the pretty waifus? Your turn to satisfy your demon's appetite. So as you can see, it's either an affront to everything virtuous and decent and proof that God has abandoned us, or it's a work of sublime satirical genius because there is no way anyone could ever have agreed that was a good advert. The game starts with comic style panels. You are a salary man who's fed up with his life, but if you look down you see a tiny child staring at you from between your legs. She has apparently sproinged up. It gets worse. We get so much worse. We are then whisked through a portal to the demon realm. There's the Isekai part of the title. We meet Gascoigne, a demon tutor who explains we are a demon prince. There's the demon part. We look as over the top as we could possibly look. Whose heart am I holding? Now to name the character. The obvious choice is clearly Ebony Darkness Dementia Raven Way, but then it says 11 character limit. Why would you let me type more than 11 characters if you've got a limit? So I try something simpler. I try Bob. But oh no, it seems that's taken. There is already a Demon Lord Bob. You know what? I'm naming you Pizza Cutter. Because like a pizza cutter, this game is all edge and no point. Let's 
We are the leader of the Kingdom of Paladonia and must lead the demon army to victory over the evil human paladins. I was half hoping they'd be able to play a nice subversion of expectation here and have the human enemy be the good guys and us be the bad guys, but nope, the human paladins are enslaving people and we're actually saving the local villagers. Even when playing as the bad guy, we are still the good guy. Standard city screen, icons to click. If you've seen these kind of idle mobile games before, you know the general layout. This is a hub screen with access to all the different systems, and there are so many systems I gave up counting. We go to the map screen and click the first battle. Let's watch the battle together. I have not edited this in any way. I'm going to get some alcohol. After that thrilling battle, we are back on the map screen and... What? Why is the next battle over there? And then why have you got little circles on the path along the way to the next battle? I've played tower defense games or journey games. Those circles are mini levels. Why are they there if you're not going to use them? But oh, in the next fight we find the enemy leader. Thank God we can kill him and I can uninstall this game. But now we meet Pelotti, and there's the waifu bit of the title. Pelotti comes from a village in dire need of fabric, and she fights for us because we are the demon prince. But then we are almost instantly joined by a ninja. A ninja who has apparently managed to stretch a single thong over her entire body. We win because this game isn't about gameplay, and then get given the first of around a hundred different currencies. We get some magic crystals which we use to improve as subordinates, a phrase the game uses, using one of many, many upgrade interfaces the game has. There are so many currencies and so many upgrade systems and so many variables that go into upgrading literally everything, the only thing stopping this game being a parody is how predatory the monetization is and we will look at that later. And if you're going to comment and say, oh the game's only got 40 currencies actually, trust me, this is not the hill you want to die on. The entire opening section is just click the flashing button and things happen. What things? I don't know. I can't remember. Normally I keep extensive notes when I play these games so I can write down events and descriptions and write the script later on, but I look back at my notepad and it's just covered in sad faces. The tutorial now requests we upgrade our subordinates, that's what the game refers to all the girls as, because this is essentially a game about collecting girls like Pokemon. There's even a button on the subordinate overlay to remove the UI so you can admire the full artwork. I used to be an actor. Stage, screen. I was in Shakespeare. I won an award. Look, see? I got an award that said I can act good. Now look at what I do for a job. How do I explain this to my mum? Oh Josh, what have you been doing this weekend? I've spent all day playing Isekai Demon Waifu. Is that one of your videographic games? It is, mother. Can I see? No. Follow the flashing lights and now I'm clicking a mini game. What fun. More currency. Now back to gameplay. And I use that word in the loosest of senses. Oh, there's a skip animation button so you can skip all these pesky battles. Let's see how that works. Ah, yes. Behold. Gameplay. The skip button makes the game game less, which seems to be a net positive, and you can gain the auto battle ability by either reaching level 50, which requires playing this game longer, which is definitely out of the question, or buying VIP rank 4, because of course there's a ranked VIP pay to win system, so let's have a look at it. Buying any amount of microtransaction grants you an amount of VIP points, and reaching certain thresholds makes you that rank and gives you more waifus. This is so overly sexualized, it's disgusting. The entire app is degrading. This is being advertised on YouTube, but I'm having to censor my own gameplay because I know they'll demonetize me if I don't. So let's look at the VIP system. You can buy the VIP weekly card and gain 499 VIP points. To reach VIP rank 1, you only need 1 point, so you'll reach that, but then rank 2 needs 1,999 points. Rank 3 needs 4,999 points. Rank 4 is 9,999 points, all the way up to rank 12, which is one point away from 4 million. But look, the lifetime card, which is just a name and not important at all because you can buy it multiple times, gives you 
4,999 VIP points, which, oh sweet, that gets you to rank 3 straight away. But remember, rank 4 needs VIP 9,999, so if you buy two lifetime cards, which cost $50 each, you'll actually only reach 9,998 points. One point away from rank 4. You need to spend over a hundred dollars to reach rank 4 and unlock autoplay in a game where playing the actual battles is the boring part. The next mission needs me to complete levies, which are things that recharge and then you click on them to get free stuff. This is it. This is the mechanic. Click the thing to win. Wait so you can click the thing more later. Or you can pay money to reset the thing so you can click it now. I will never be able to escape this now. I have googled it and I have uploaded a video on it. My tracking cookies are forever Isekai Demon Waifu. The next part of the tutorial needs me to upgrade even more subordinates, so spending even more currency. It's a good thing I've got several hundred thousand magical MacGuffins because the game throws a hundred thousand at you just for logging in and then trips over itself to give you more. It's like a child trying to tell you the highest number they know. But there's also an item system because this game is determined to have more systems than any game reasonably needs. You can synthesize the items if you do something. Honestly, I've stopped caring and I've just zoned out and I'm clicking the sparkly stuff at this point. Oh, you can also gain insignias to marry the waifus and marrying them adds your brand to them which increases their everything. And there's clothing you can buy for them because this is a dress-up game. This is a soft core dress-up game that YouTube is heavily pushing. Oh, the main menu has even more icons. There's a shop, a reward shop, that rewards you for your total amount spent so far. So keep spending because you're close to the next free thing. I can't be bothered to check, but I will bet my reputation the maths of this thing works out designed to make you always just out of reach of the next level unless you spend a little bit more. I tap this rock to get currency. Your tap energy recharges over time. You get currency for tapping. And you can refill your stamina with money. Time limited event for buying new things. Buy now, don't miss out on this time limited event. Don't you dare miss it. Spend money now. Buy, buy, buy. Fear of missing out psychology. Buy, buy the thing now. You won't be able to get it later. Buy it right now. Scrolling through and... This, this is appropriate, YouTube. This is what you deem appropriate. I can't even show this. She's got no clothes on. She is just crossing her legs to hide her modesty. This is what you are pushing as a game. Another shop. This is the fifth one now. I suppose it's good to see we've got the furry demographic covered, representation and all that. While editing this video, I realised I'd have to censor or edit most of the footage or get demonetized, which proves what the true demographic of this game really is, which is, you know what, if you're into that, cool, you don't need to play this game. Google is a brilliant tool for finding everything you could get from here for free. The beginner's pack only costs $5 and lets you marry a consort. If you're considering spending $5 on this game, instead, please go and find a responsible adult and ask them to help you do literally anything else. Another system, leveling up as the prince. As you do that, you'll gain subordinates, because waifus are attracted to levels. High numbers are like magnets to women, it's just science. We gain another waifu, Laura. She is an assassin, and the game actually uses the excuse the reason she is almost naked is so she can feel the wind on her skin and be a better assassin. Where's the stop recording button? There you are. Leveling up your prince increases your stats, but what do they even mean? Negotiation 475, what does that do? Who am I negotiating with? 
Oh good, another gameplay mechanic. Outings. You can visit random places in the world and meet scantily clad women and then collect them. It's basically an awful graphic novel. And thankfully some of them say no because they've got self-respect. Oh no, it's because your skills aren't high enough. You can collect them later once you've spent more money. Once you have a consort, that's the game's wording, not mine, you can mark them or marry them and marrying them makes them stronger because as science has proven, a woman derives all of her strength from the man she keeps around. Women gain power through osmosis. You can only go on a few outings before you have to recharge because being a creep is tiring, but then you can visit your harem, the game literally calls it that, and go on dates with your collection. Want to see what happens when you click date? Here you go. This is a game that YouTube are advertising. It's so vapid. It's so incredibly, overwhelmingly, unapologetically, unforgivably awful that even downloading it made other games on my computer worse. It's incredibly offensive to both equality and the concept of gameplay. It's so bad it's bordering on satire. It could be considered a fantastic parody of the exploitation idol genre, but parody often tries to make a statement to inspire change. This is just designed to make money. It's a soft core cash grab. I'm not even going to rate this, because if in the future I ever do a big worst MMO ever, huge, you know, full on rating thing of every game I've played, I don't want this to appear on any list ever again. It's awful. I'm going to report the advert every time I see it for being offensive because it offends me to be reminded that this game existed. To end this video, I will say thank you to all the Patreon supporters and Twitch subs who keep the channel going and then apologise to all of you because watching this video means you're now going to get the advert and I am genuinely sorry for that. If you can still have a great day despite knowing this exists, then please attempt to do so.